ambulance left the track uh, slowly, of course, and um, no further details at this particular stage as to what injuries Andreas Jonsson may have sustained from that crash. And it goes without saying that we wish him all the very best. But as the saying goes, the show must go on in heat number 19. And there is Thomas Gollop, the man in the yellow helmet. I'm sure that race will be debated long into the night and for the rest of this weekend. Uh, Speedway is a very, very dangerous sport. And uh, these things do happen. It's part and parcel, I'm afraid that uh, crashes happen in Speedway. Sometimes we take it for granted. And heat number 19 is up and coming. Tommy Cech in white, Gollum in yellow. Gollum needs the three points to try and get through to that semi-final stage. Gollum goes wide, Tommy Cech has hit the run once again. Almost went into Gollum there, but thankfully there was enough distance between them, uh, which meant that uh, Tommy Cech missed Gollum. Now Gollum goes uh, mid-track, comes back around the home straight and has that lead. And he knows that this would probably be enough. Yeah, he's riding right out wide. There is a little bit of dirt that's developed since they did the track preparation and they rewatered it. And he's not going to attempt to ride down low. He's avoiding all the ruts on the inside and really beginning to wind it on. Tomacek now is nearly the length of the straight behind him. Got him showing plenty of speed out front. Three points here, Nigel. Should be just about enough for Thomas Gollum to make his way through to the top eight tonight. Tommy check has got problems with his machine. More drama in heat 19. Gollum looking like a formality here for him now, then, as Tommy check continues to struggle over the line with his problems, with his machinery. So it's a formality. Thomas Gollum down the back straight, then, uh, comfortably on his way to the semi finals. And uh, Tommy check stumbling over the line in the white helmet colour. Uh, but uh, Gollum. Completes the formality easily there, and Tommy Cech limps over, as we say, with the uh, bike difficulties. And what it means is that Thomas Gollum finishes his five rides on eight points, three points behind the championship leader, Nicky Pedersen. Now, going forward into the semi-final and the grand final, there's still a possibility that Thomas Gollum could emerge from this meeting as the world championship leader at the end of tonight. It could still happen. He's three points behind Pedersen going into the semi-finals. There's the result, Tomicek second. Andreas Jonsson, we wish him all the very best. Of course, uh, excluded, as was Lucas Dribble from that race. That's why we've had two finishers only. So to sum up, quite simply, Gollum, three...